my friend, he has over 30 lawnmowers, and I like to go up there and work on the farm because he can't <coughs> himself. He's uh, suffered from two strokes, and he's paralyzed on the left side, so he can't do it himself. What? And, um, small, en small engines, or there's more to a small engine that meets the eye. Um, they're fun to fix, just I don't know what's wrong with them. And the first thing would be to start on the curtain. And I'll try to do it. Alright, uh, first thing to check is the carburetor. And there's a pin right here that goes in there. You gotta make sure that's clean. And there's a needle valve here. And what it does, is it makes, it goes in this hole, and so what it does is it, when it comes down, it makes sure it doesn't just move freely. It has some tension on it. And you gotta make sure it's clean, and when you, you gotta spray some cleaner down here, you get all the dirt out. And um, there's different types of carburetors. It just depends on um, what kind of engine it is, or if it's a Briggs and Stratton, or Kohler, or Coverside, like they're just different. You gotta make sure in here, is all cleaned up too because that's the inlet. So you gotta make sure it's all cleaned up. And the ignition switch, um, you gotta make sure you have spark in the engine because it's not gonna run. Um, so you gotta make sure the switch is good and I'll explain more about that later. Come on. Yes. I'm sorry. Alright, um, as I was saying about spark, there's magnets on right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a magnet right here. And when it goes, there's two pieces here. Right here, the, the, this magnet runs along when it, the engine starts running, and it creates a um, spark every time it goes around. And it sends a spark down the coil wire, and it goes on the spark plug, and it fires the plug. So you gotta make sure that the magnets are clean and not rusty, because they do rust over years. And make sure you got a good battery. That's important because it's electric starter. Most of the regular tire. All right, here's another part. Not all small engines have them. Points. Um, what points basically do is when go back a second. Oh. the flywheel turns over. What it does is the points will open up. This <coughs> opens up, and every time it opens up, it sparks, and then, they, and then it closes back. And then this keeps going. And you gotta make sure they're clean in between here. Make a connection between there. Or else it's not gonna run. It's not gonna have any spark. Um, the solenoid. Um, what it, what, um, how this works is there's a battery cable that runs from the battery to the positive side of this. And it runs to the starter. So hold on. Now this is a battery. And this is the negative, and you gotta make sure all your connections are clean, or else when you go to crank it, it's not gonna start. Um, that's something else to check, see if it's good. And this is a coil for the bigger motors. I think it's 14 horsepower Kohler, and it holds the juice. I don't know really how these coils work. I've never worked in a bigger engine all that much, but. Um, Gotta make sure it's good because my friend had been uh, ran her butt with what? Okay, I'm gonna keep <coughs> the pesos. All right, um, my friend had to spend uh, 300 bucks to get his motor uh, took in, and um, he's already got three thousand dollars wrapped up in the motor already, so I think it's kind of like a Ford, but why me? Um, uh, all right, there's an impact. And this is good for um, like if a bolt's being fussy or it's rusty, because it rusts over the years if it's an older, an older engine. It's just an impact because it has a lot of torque. And these black sockets are made especially for this because the force it has on that, the bolt or the nut, it could split right in half because I've had, a, had it done to me before. There's different types of impacts. There's an electric or a battery operated one, which I prefer. But it's kind of a pain when it's not charged and you need to use it. There's also an electric one, which is if you've got a lot of extension cord, I would highly recommend. And um, these are some like the extensions that are, are especially made for the, mo or the impact. And, let's keep moving. All right, um, 
mirror um, gaffing spark plug, which is there's a certain firing rate or uh, heat range in a gap that's got to be. So when you're doing that, you got to take like this is a feeler gauge. And what a feeler gauge is, it's got a it's there's certain certain thickness of um, piece of metal, and you got to stick it in there to get it gapped so it can split. There's an electrode and then this top piece. The electrode goes up under this. And if it's not set right, the plug can't, because there's a little spark that goes in between it. And if it can't um, um, make a spark, then it's not going to run. But um, here's just some ratchets that um, you need to work on them. So, <coughs> I don't know if I got another slide or not. Oh, next slide. Um, so, some to consider where you need to work, you need a dry place, you need uh, how to use a garage, but um, if the neighbor will let you use his garage, I would ask, but as long as it's a dry place and it doesn't matter.